Want to drag and drop during your PowerPoint presentations? You've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to easily create drag and drop activities to do as a whole entire class inside of your PowerPoint presentations. Let's get started. To have objects that are movable during your PowerPoint presentation, we're going to be using ClassPoint, an interactive PowerPoint add-in. So once ClassPoint's downloaded and installed, how it works is you first add any pictures, shapes, text, objects, images, you name it right into your PowerPoint presentation. Then you just enable those objects to drag. And during your presentation, you can move those objects around to help you teach or run an in-class activity. Do note that this is a teacher's presentation tool, not for individual student activities. So that means it turns your boring old PowerPoint presentations into now an active learning lesson for students. This will really help students make visual connections when you're teaching or doing activities as a class. So for example, I can use draggable objects to help teach and introduce fractions to my students before really diving deeper into the lesson, where I can call up students to the board and they can show and apply their knowledge by moving the fruits themselves. So using this example, let me show you how you guys can implement draggable objects into your PowerPoint presentations. So our first step is to create our drag and drop activity within our PowerPoint presentation. So let me just exit out of this and I'm gonna delete this slide so that we can remake it together. So first things first is add a new slide into your presentation to begin your activity. And then we need to insert any of our objects that we want to be draggable. So I have some on my device that I want to be draggable. So let me just go ahead and insert all of those. When you have everything on your slide, let's drag and enable these objects with ClassPoint. So as I said, ClassPoint is an interactive PowerPoint add-in that you can just download and install from classpoint.io. Once that's all done, you'll see the Ink No ClassPoint tab right here on your PowerPoint ribbon. Then we only have to click the draggable objects icon and that side panel will open up. We can go ahead and select the objects that we want to be draggable during our presentation. If you guys have more than one, you can hold down the shift key and then select some objects, or we can just go ahead and highlight all the objects that you want to use. And then we just click the toggle to drag enable these objects. You'll see a quick highlight box to show you which ones are enabled. But if you ever forget or want to double check on which ones are enabled, you guys can just go ahead and click this eye icon and it will quickly show you which ones they are. Let me show you that again without them selected. So if I just click that eye icon, you'll see that box around them. So ClassPoint's free version does have a limit of how many draggable objects there are. So if you do want a ton, you'll have to upgrade to the pro version. But it looks like we now have freely draggable objects ready for our presentation. So let's go ahead and test it out. So when you get to a slide in your presentation that has that draggable objects activity, you'll again see that quick highlight of which objects are draggable. And then when it's time for you to begin your activity, go ahead and click on the draggable objects icon down here on the class point toolbar. From there, you'll see one more highlight of all the objects that are draggable. You can begin the activity and move these objects around freely on your slide. So I can begin using this, I can call on a student, ask my question verbally, and they can come up to the board and go ahead and move these objects themselves, or they can just, or they can tell me and I can go ahead and move the objects that they told me to, to complete the activity. If I need any help calling on my students, I can add my student list into ClassPoint and use the random name picker for ClassPoint to pick a name for my students for me. More info on the random name picker can be found in the video up above. So like I've said, there are a ton of different ways that you guys can enhance your PowerPoint presentations with drag and drop activities. You guys can use it as a teaching aid to help you explain new concepts, relationships, or cause and effect, or you guys can use it as an in-class activity. So when you create those in-class draggable object activities, you guys can call on your students to come up to the board and move the objects themselves, or you can ask for volunteers or call on a student and you can go ahead and move the object that they tell you to. From sequencing, categorizing, matching, labeling, you name it, there are a ton of different ways to implement drag and drop activities into your classroom. This will really help students learn in a visual, fun, new, exciting way, and it can help you guys correct any misunderstandings together as a class. 
And that is how you guys can set up a drag and drop activity right inside your PowerPoint presentation with ClassPoint's draggable objects. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, but before then, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a comment, and a thumbs up.